Hello everybody, it is NavyBoy5499 here today, and today you can see we're on my desktop here. I'm going to show you how to stream content from a Windows 7, uh, or even before that, Windows Vista, Windows XP. How to stream content, like video files, pictures, movies, whatever, yeah, video files, movies, same thing, but yeah, whatever. You can stream basically sound, uh, you know, like music, all that, whatever. Uh, so... All that you can stream from your PC as long as you're on the same network as your PS3 or 360. So this is a way for you to get all your movie files, whatever, to your PS3 without having to actually transfer it over. Same thing with the 360. So what you need to do is go out there, look up an application. Uh, real quick, we're going to look up an application here. It's called PS3, and then it's called Media Server. So PS3 Media Server. And then after you look that up, click on the first link, uh, ps3mediaserver.blogspot.com. Uh, just click right here to download it. Just do all that. Pick the right one here if you're Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever. Uh, it's pretty easy. Just look up on Google. Uh, and basically what, what you do is you just run this program. And uh, it's pretty simple. What it does is it's going to try to contact to through your router uh, it's going to try to contact to your whatever kind of media server things you have on your network. As you see right now, I detected my PS3. It probably will detect my 360 also uh, in a little bit here whenever it decides to buckle down and do it. Uh, yeah, see? Boom. As you can see, right, these are uh, your IP addresses for both. Uh, these, are all, these are both private IP addresses, obviously. These are not... Public IP. These are RFC 1918 addresses. They're not gonna be public things. You can't ping these or nothing. Um, they're in that private range. So yeah, basically what you need to do is once this is running and that works for your PS3. If, if it's if you can't find anything, it's not finding anything. Make sure both the devices are on. They're connected to the network. Doesn't matter if it's wired or Wi-Fi. Uh, as long as they're connected to the network. For the 360, go into your video library, and when asked you to select source, it should pop up here now. Uh, for your PS3, uh, it, sh it should do the same thing. You just look through your video section, and there should be an option called PS3 Media Server. If you can't find that, go into your options, and there should be an option somewhere called Media Server, and just make sure that's turned on. It's going to have your device look for media servers. So if, as long as it's all working, it's going to find all your devices. Uh, basically, what you need to do is just go uh, go to navigation slash share settings, and you're gonna set up a little folder here. I got a folder called DVD rips because I like to rip all my DVDs and make them into uh, movie files. So you see, I got some stuff here. I mean, it, it, it's it's the same for if you're gonna be ripping DVDs, you use whatever program you use to rip DVDs. Also, if you, it maybe if you're a little bit more sneaky and you're a little pirate, uh, it'll work the same thing. It'll work for any type of file really. Um, I just, I have some picture folders here. I got some movies. Uh, so after after that's all set up, just make sure it's linking here and this to that folder. Uh, it, once you're doing that, maybe it, this option should be up here. Restart HTTP server. Click on that maybe. Also, maybe you want to save it and just quit out and just load it back up again. Uh, just make sure it's all good. And from that point forward, you can actually trans... I don't even know what this is right here, but uh, it's probably another device on the network that it thinks it could use that it doesn't know or not. It could be like a PC. It could be you know, like a, a laptop, my parents' laptop, something like that. Anyways, we're going to transfer over now to uh, the consoles, and I'll show you how to go from there. All right, so now we're on my PS3 here. Uh, as you can see, there are, you go, you know, one of the games here, um, if you go over to the video, you'll see, you have all this stuff here, you should see one called PS3 Media Server, uh, it should be there, you might see your own PC also, uh, that will work if you have the Windows Media Player set up, uh, that can also be used to stream stuff, but you usually want to use PS3 Media Server, you click on here, and you see, I got, I got, you don't want to worry about these, really. You see, I got this DVD rips folder right here, wide open. Boom. I got all these movies here. And at any time, I can just click on any of these, and they'll all work. Uh, the PS3, I've, I've got some experience with the PS3 that basically any file, it will play. 
uh, almost anything. I mean, there, there are certain ones, of course, that, like, you know, you could have some problems in certain areas, but basically anything, it will run. And that's actually a really cool thing uh, with the PS3. And that's why they, it's called PS3 Media Server. It's kind of misleading because you can use any type of device with it, but they call it PS3 because there's so much backwards compatibility you can have with it. Uh, so you like looking here, I got my LOL folder. Uh, there's none in there, it says, because like, oh, there's none in there. Well, I go over to photos and then go into it. And then photos, boom. I got all these funny, hilarious photos. Deal with it. So, yes, as you can see, um, easily done. If you want your music, okay, I don't have any music on my server, but if I did, boom, it'd be in there. Uh, so you have all your videos, everything all set up. Uh, now, if you can't find this, if you look and you don't see either of these two, you're like, I can't find the PSG Media Server. I don't know what's going on. Go down your settings. What you're going to do is, if I remember correctly, you go all the way down to Network Settings. Go down here to Media Server Connection. Make sure this is enabled. If it is enabled, it should work. If it does not work, then there, there is tons of issues that could be happening. Uh, it should work, though. If it doesn't then I would recommend just kind of trying to mess around with it a little bit. You know, disconnect your your router, plug it in again. Uh, just do lots of things. Um, like I said, super easy. It'll basically work with anything you throw at it. Like, uh, there's basically nothing it can't figure out how to use. And that's, that's the point I was trying to make. Is like, PS3, it'll work with anything. Uh, so... I've shown you how to kind of configure that all up on the PS3. Now we'll go ahead and we're going to be moving on to the, uh, P the 360. The 360 is a little bit different. I'll show you how to do it. It's a, it, it kind of has some disadvantages and some advantages. We'll see what happens. Alright, so we're now we're back on my 360 here. Everything's fine. Everything's good. So you're like, okay, what do I do on the 360? I don't understand how, or, or you know, even if your 360 is not even showing up, like you're on the PS3 media server on your computer, the 360 is not showing up. So you say, okay, well, that's weird. Go to your video library, click on this. As soon as this thing pops right here, it says PS3 media server. It will show up in your, on the PC. Same exact thing. You click on this. You have your folders here. DVD rips folder, you open it, everything's here. Now, there's one, di see, I mean, like, I think that the PS3 is better for this, obviously. You can't see any thumbnails here or anything like that. Uh, one of the differences you'll see here is, like, I'll, I'll try to play Dawn of the Dead. I'm like, all right, cool, let's play Dawn of the Dead. And it's going to say, wait a second, hold on. You, I don't know how to do this. I, you have to download an update. So what you, with this, all you got to do is go down and download this free update, which I've, I've already had it, but I guess it might just not work I don't I'll download it again let's we'll see what happens the, 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 the 360 is very very finicky when it comes to this kind of stuff uh, so let's see here download it alright it's been downloaded play will it work will it blend yes it looks like it will hopefully boom download dead and of course it, it you, it's streaming the, the the file's not on your 360 right now. It's not taking up space or anything like that, you know. It's it's all... it's I, I think the 360 is a little bit better when fast-forwarding and rewinding. The network seems a little bit faster. But the PS3 definitely, obviously, a lot more file compatibility. Everything just seems to run, you know. That, that's the main thing. You can't go faster than 16 times also, which is kind of might be a bummer to some people, depending on who you are and... You know, you might want to get through a movie fast, I guess. I don't know. Dawn of the Dead's a great movie. You should go watch that. But uh, that's kind of it, though. I mean, really, um, it's kind of all I had to show you of how to stream content from your PC. You can do it with any types of files. Uh, usually, all video files will work unless it's like a unless it's like a crazy like MKV file, which they already do exist out there. Uh, but it should work. So I hope this is enlightening to some people out there. And hopefully uh, people will figure out how to better uh, stream files from their PC back to the 360. Alright, and with that, we are going back now and uh, this video is now over. So uh, hopefully it works. Send any questions in the comments. And uh, hopefully we will uh, 
tell tell me any questions. I'll I'll be glad to answer them. See you guys later.